Nazis built this bridge three years ago. Straight shot to the African front. They're just devouring Africa like they did everywhere else. The train should be arriving at the bridge any moment now. Go, Tom Cap! Ready up! Finds a Nazi with a white uniform and steal his identification papers. That's your ticket to the lunar base. He will be in one of the train cars there.
abandoned on a railway wagon. Inside, Death's Head's chief research scientist bound for the moon. Well, I'm coming for you, you Nazi fucking spaceman. From here, those Nazis all look like ants on an anthill. And you're like this stick poke.
Locked. Okay. Find the controls. Doors unlocked. Hey, Captain. All stand by. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I found a spot where I can drop you off closer to the nautical wagon. Proceed down through the checkpoint interior and meet me outside on the walkway underneath the bridge. Sir, I was a kid. The man I looked up to most was my wrestling coach, Coach Anderson. You remind me of him. All these years keeping the resistance going with Caroline, a lot of times I ask myself, what would Captain Blaskowitz do? What would Captain Blaskowitz do? Still do. All right, I'll drop you off here.
the papers. Now what? Ramona writes, September 20th, 1941. Still alive. The Nazi baby is gone. After the weekend, I go back to work. I have patients to tend to. I have Nazis to kill. January 5th, 1942. The Nazi appears to have poor reaction time. I learned this as I ran him over at the red light. I don't know what came over me. It was the middle of the day and people were looking. I drove away as fast as I could. I have to reduce the rate of my attacks or they will catch me. July 9th, 1943. The Nazi appears to be made of bacon. I learned this as nine of them burned alive inside a late night establishment. A lot can be accomplished with padlocks and gasoline. Father could smell the gasoline on my coat. I lied to him. He mustn't know what I have done. He's too sensitive. July 4th, 1944. The Nazi is a hopeless romantic. I learned this while smashing his skull using the hammer I had hid behind my back as he knelt to pick up my fallen glove. If I was a boy, father would have taught me how to handle a rifle. But instead I was trained to nurse the afflicted dig dirt for relics and write papers. I wish I knew a soldier. He could teach me how not to feel remorse. He would understand me. September 23rd, 1946. A man came in today. Horrible head trauma. He has scars all over him. He won't speak. No one knows where he's from. I think he's a soldier, but not a Nazi. I wish he could talk to me. He has a strength about him.